Now, if the Sussexes declared war on their respective families last week, in today's volume of their Netflix travesty, Harry and Meghan went full nuclear. It was terrifying to have my brother um, scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. And I've lost my dad in this. So when did things start to go awry there? When the media got involved. Well, we are joined this morning by Meghan Markle's father, Thomas. It was incredibly painful. Well, in a world-exclusive interview, Samantha Markle joins me now to give her first reaction to Meghan's latest attacks, and she's alongside the royal insider, Lady Colin Campbell, who is here to offer the Windsor perspective. Sam Markle, wow, so much to discuss. What do you make of it? Well, good evening, Lady Colin Campbell and Dan. It's so good to be here. Um, shocking. Um, as you all know, and it's just incredible, just such a display of projection, in my opinion. Um, firstly, I mean, I think we all know that they were paying price CPR to tell their story all along, controlling a lot of the media. And I think, though, a lot of people are forgetting something really important. We watched from across the pond. And it wasn't only this deal. We saw her seemingly upstaging Beyonce at the Lion King uh, premiere and hitting Bob Iger up for voiceover work. We heard that these so-called film deals were in the works even before Megxit, and we heard across the pond that that was integral, but her PR made it look as though the decision to leave was Harry and Meghan's decision. So, you know, all of this poppycock about being thrown out and being screamed at and being bullied, I don't believe it for one minute. And and if um, William and now King Charles were upset, of course they were in royal duty and they were making Hollywood deals, which is my understanding is prohibited. Yes. Well, I heard the same thing, Sam. Yeah. I heard the same thing, that deals were actually being done with uh, Disney and with the book company when they were still working royals. And that went against all prop... All, all... Oh, wow! Hey, hey, this is Thomas! Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Thomas Markle Jr. too! <laughs> Have you just... You guys... How come I wasn't invited to this? Uh, no, I, look, on. join us, join the party. This is great. We've got both Markle siblings now, Thomas Markle Jr. <laughs> great to have you. And Tom, uh, how's your dad? Always have to ask because you've been looking after him. So have you surprised? Is this a surprise trip to see Sam? Is he with you? What What dad? I don't have a dad. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Don't do a Megan. Megan's made it very clear. We don't have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> We lost our dad. She said uh, so. No, um, dad's dad's doing pretty well. He's uh, yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, has he has together. he has he traveled? Oh, amazing, amazing. Oh, I love that. How, is one of the reasons that you've got together because this is quite a tough time for you as a family. The Markles are under attack, obviously, thanks to Netflix. Yeah, you know, and what I want to say about that is like, you know, that's prompted me to put together an amazing production team. So in in about the fall of 2023, you're going to get the best documentary of the Markles, the truth, 100% across the board, which everybody's waiting for. Sounds great. Sounds oh, great. In defense, in, yeah, in defense of the Markles, that's, I mean, it's just, it's long overdue. I've been getting so many, so many comments on my, uh, on my YouTube channel and my Instagram, you know, spill the tea, spill the tea, come on. You know, I held out for a reason because I knew this day was coming, you know, and, and here we are. Well, yeah, well, I think the time has come. I mean, I'm going to bring Lady Colin Campbell in now. I know that you two are both big supporters of Lady C. Uh, Lady C, I mean, this wasn't just an attack on the Markles. It was an attack on the Windsors today. It feels like Harry and Meghan are burning all of their bridges. Well, it was an attack on the Windsors, but it was also, of course, an attack on Thomas Markle Senior. Mm -hmm. And Despicable. they are to a, they have to an extent burnt their bridges. But you know, the reality is Prince Harry is and I'm going to try to be polite now, he is a fragile individual who has been led 
and they're of very grave concerns, starting with his father, to be blunt, about the outcome and what will happen, you know, if this persists. Because, I mean, the, the options that the royal family has are very few and far between, because they actually do not want to tip Harry over the edge so that Meghan can be a, a fabulous widow. No, of course. And when it comes to mental health, we know that Harry has had problems. I mean, Samantha and uh, Thomas Jr., you obviously know your sister. Do you feel like she has maybe manipulated Harry at all? Because it, it feels to me like they're a couple. They don't lift each other up. I think the best relationships, your partner lifts you up. It feels like they want to bring each other down. Yeah, you know, the other thing I found so shocking was that for Doria to suggest that she was brokenhearted because Megan was depressed or suicidal, well, she's supposed to be a social worker. And if you've got someone that you're with all the time and the world said that um, she was their advisor on all things, if you knew at one point that she was even indicating being depressed and you let it get to suicidal ideation, then you should cash your license in because that's poppycock. That's just not true. Mm. Um, if she was so close to her, she would have been supportive. Yeah. Well, you know, I, you know, I find the whole story hard to believe because the members of the royal family and their staff were there to support Harry and Meghan. And much of what they've said about the staff hasn't been true. But look, I want to show you this clip uh, because Meghan today offered a rare look at the relationship uh, between Meghan and her paternal grandmother, who is, of course, your grandmother as well. So I want you to watch this and react off the back, Thomas and Samantha. <laughs> I recognize and respect and see that you are the queen. But in this moment, I'm so grateful that there's a grandmother figure. Because that feels like family. And because I was so, so close with my grandmother and I took care of her in her final years. Sam and Thomas Jr., is it true that she cared for your grandmother? No, my father was paying for everything, paying for her nursing home care. She visited sometimes, but she didn't have a close relationship with our grandmother, Markle. They didn't make apple butter together. And when I saw, I saw that whole spiel, I thought, oh my God, she's playing the matriarchy card to impress the queen. That is so far from the truth. And my grandmother, in fact, you know, um, my father could attest to this. My grandmother would roll over in her grave if she saw how Meghan was treating our family dad, and the royals. Yeah. Oh, my word. Do you agree with that, Thomas? I would like to say one thing real quick about, you know, so far all, all the series that I've been watching and all the episodes, it just reminds me of like six individual one-sided Oprah interviews. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's 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 all so one-sided and yeah. it's just what whatever, whatever comes out of her mouth, we're supposed to believe. It's ridiculous. I know. I mean, well, Lady yeah. C, Lady C, there is no journalistic integrity from Netflix. Yeah. They are publishing exactly. lies. They are broadcasting lies, Lady C. What, what do you make of it? Well, not all, only are they publishing lies, they are deliberately and knowingly publishing lies. And when they're not publishing the lies, they are omitting the truth to have a dangerous agenda, which is racist. And, you know, Netflix has shot itself in the foot in one respect. For the first half, they say how wonderful Meghan was, <laughs> and she was so popular that, that William and Catherine were sending hitmen after her, and they were green with envy. Then on the, on, in the next bit, they're saying, actually, no, everybody was racist. Well, which was it? Because if everybody was racist, they... She yeah. couldn't have been Oh, yeah, so and popular. Charles was great at that point, wasn't he? And then all of a sudden he was a monster by the time of the Sandringham Summit. That's never explained. I mean, Lady C, isn't it sad when you see the Markle family, and we've got to know the Markles well over the past couple of years, this is a tight-knit family. Thomas is looking after... Uh, Thomas Jr. is looking after Thomas Sr. full-time. Here they are all together with Sam, who we know is in a wheelchair, really struggles to travel... Megan is missing out on so much 
isn't she? And what's so sad is Harry is now missing out on that too, Lady C, with his own family. And the children. The children are missing out on an aunt, an uncle, a grandfather. But let's not forget that Meghan has also very mischievously uh, played Ashley the way she has oh, played Harry. You Samantha's know, daughter. You know, how, how did you feel about that today, Sam? Because your daughter seems to have been used in some sort of PR campaign uh, by Meghan to sort of make clear that she's reconnecting with the Markle family in some way, even though she's still cutting out her father, her brother and her sister. Right, and I, I think I think it was a low blow to try to manipulate my daughter. Clearly, she knew that my daughter and I were back in touch, and I think to weaponize her, I think to clearly this there's no gray zone to lie to her and tell her that the royals made the decision that she couldn't go to the royal wedding was a lie, and it saddened her and it pitted her against me because she believed falsely that I was the villain and. Just how conniving and manipulative and evil to do that to a mother and daughter relationship. She has no business, and I, I hope right. Ashley knows now. Well, look, I loved bringing you together. We want the Markles in London, of course, when Thomas Sr. is well enough to travel. We will make that trip. And Lady Colin Campbell, uh, we will speak again next week. Thank you so much to Samantha Markle, Thomas Markle Jr., and Lady C. Yeah. But coming up,